angry guy here, and women are furious that they can't survive without men. Guys, if you're enjoying these videos, please help get this channel to 100,000 subscribers by subscribing to the channel if you already haven't. Like the video and turn on notifications to never miss another video ever again. Now let's begin. So women are furious that they cannot survive without men. We're going to go ahead and jump into the video first, and then we're going to be looking at an article that illustrates this much further. 98 fucking dollars to fill up the tank today. 98 fucking dollars. 98 fucking dollars. I have to decide between buying gas or buying food. And guess who wins? Because I have to get to the job that I need to fucking buy anything at all. That doesn't pay me enough. And people want to donate a thousand dollars to fucking cats. 98 goddamn dollars at Costco to fill up my tank. $98! $4.50 a tank. $5.50 a gallon at Costco. $5.50 a gallon at Costco. This is the work of the fucking religious right. Listen to Robert Reich, who clearly... who do. What's up, guys? We got a person that's ran about gas prices. My question is, I wonder who this person voted for. And it's just a legitimate question. I'm not even being funny about it. Well, maybe I am, but still, I wonder who this person voted for. I wonder who this person go vote for for the next next election, though. You know, we all got to suffer this because we got a bunch of stupid people who vote for shit like this. I mean, I can only imagine, you know, you probably voted for this shit and then now you so pissed off about it. And then you want to make a fucking rant about it. You know, good. I mean, it seems like some people are starting to get the point. Starting to get the point, but got to suffer harsh consequences for this shit. You know, another thing is, should women vote? But that's that's enough, another topic, though. But that's still a legitimate question. Anyway, what are y'all thoughts? Like, share, comment. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm out. You know, guys, it's so amazing. It's amazing how these women are responding right now. It's amazing how they don't seem to realize that they have created this reality for themselves. People who are literally out here saying that, oh, we want socialism. We want communism. We want this is guys. This is what socialism looks like. OK, where basically everyone starves together. But people did, not you know, and they never learn these things all because they have such it's it's a form of deep seated, misguided uh, disillusional thinking when it comes to politics that they can't realize that it's the people that they're voting for that have created this reality. Like, I'm going to guarantee you, this woman, if she's going to go and during the next presidential election, she's going to vote for the left. And she's going to say, oh, orange man, very bad person. We cannot allow him to go back in because it's only going to get worse. I mean, it's amazing how she's screaming and hollering about these things. When, you know, when when my favorite guy, you know, my president was in office, you know, we had record low unemployment. We had the lowest unemployment rate in the black community, what, like ever? You know, people were making money. Things were much better. And then, you know, look, you look at the reality of the world today and women can't afford anything. They can't afford food. They can't afford gas. And of course, you know, these women who wanted to be strong and successful and independent and put independent in their bio, look where, look where it's gotten them, you know, and they can't survive without men, but they don't want to admit to it because they're too proud. And if, if, don't get me wrong though. They're, they'll, they'll happily screech and holler and complain, but they'll never admit that, Hey, I cannot live without a man. I cannot live without a man. You know, Women, modern women now have a lower life expectancy rate than women born in 1928. That should tell you an absolute load. If we look at this article, feminism, 
Feminism created strong, independent women who are desperate, lonely, and completely broke. So, you know, these women, they, they're they like, oh, we, you know, we're, we're boss babes. We don't need no man. But if you check this out, it's completely the opposite. You know, why if women can do everything a man can do, then why is this happening? You know, women have been fed lies by propagandists, bad actors, and feminists, not for the betterment of women, but to claim power. They talk about kindness, but in reality, it, it's nothing about kindness. It's all about control. You know, this is this is how it really is. They say communism is kindness. No, it's about control. Many women misguided by these toxic, fe toxic feminists use tropes like it's the fault of the patriarchy without really knowing that it means, by the way, the patriarchy is, a, is a, an active movement to suppress uh, women is a lie. The paradox is that as women become more independent, their financial needs increase dramatically. And as a result, the need for extra resources increase too. With their funds limited, women are forced to return to men to subsidize them. This while not only showing that many women cannot support themselves, but also shows their feminist and true colors. Like I said, guys, I've said this before and I'll say it again. Women will say feminism got us everything we wanted. Now let's fight it together. And while the leg and while the label feminism may go away, the legacy of feminism will live on. OK, in every single woman and every little girl, there is a seed of feminism and it will never go away from the dawn, from the beginning of existence. Women have resented men. How do we know this? Look at the story of Adam and Eve. Adam was happy in the garden, chilling, naming the animals, you know, going for walks in the park. And he had everything he could ever want. And yet Eve, there was nothing that she could want. And yet she still wanted more. She had no idea of what else existed. Think about the logistics of this. She was jealous of God and resentful. Okay, she, why why else would she do this? She was jealous of God and she was resentful because she felt that, oh, he has something she clearly doesn't have. She doesn't know what that is, but she's going to get it anyway. And she was so, she was literally so wrapped up in the idea of power and having more, even though she didn't know what more was. And despite the fact that God had warned her and Adam that if you take this fruit and consume this fruit, it's going to result in you being deleted and bring grave misery into your lives. They didn't listen. She didn't listen. She was so dedicated to that power, to the dream of power, that she would actually turn against her creator. She knew God was her creator. She knew God was her father. She would betray her father for power. Because she wanted his power. The serpent told her, oh, you will have the power of God. You will be like God himself. Okay, so there's more to this. Okay, I don't know what it is. And even though he told me don't eat this because it's going to I, it's going to result in the loss of my existence. Well, you know, the possibility of having the power of God is too great. You know, because, you know, even though I have everything I could ever want and everything I could ever need, that's still not enough because there's more out there. Even though I don't know, I don't know what more there is. I'm still going to go out and try and get it. And then after she ate the fruit, what did she do? She got the knowledge from the fruit because we're not God doesn't lie. God cannot lie. God told us if you eat the fruit, you're immediately going to gain this. You're going to gain this knowledge. And you're going to pass away. You're going to you're going to be you're going to be deleted eventually. And so she ate the fruit. She this and whatever happened happened to her. She she immediately realized that she was, you know, not wearing anything, and she knew immediately that she had screwed up. So what did she do? She played it cool, went looking for Adam, told him that if he eats the fruit, he's going to end up being like, you know, like God. And Adam did it because not because he wanted power, but because of his love for his wife. Think about the logistics here. And poor simp Adam never even stopped to think, but wait a minute. If she ate the fruit, then she should already know. She should already know what the consequences are for eating the fruit. 
So when she told him, oh, if you eat the fruit, then we'll be like this, that's an absolute lie because she had already consumed the fruit. Hence, he could have said to her, oh, yeah, so tell me, what did you gain from eating the fruit? Tell me what you gained from eating the fruit, Eve. You know, what, what magical powers did you gain? You know, are you like God now? Can you disappear? Can you fly? And, you know, I want to know. He, this is, guys, this is the, the danger of when men are overtaken with lust and desire and, and, lo and even love because love blinds a man. That's why they say there's a thin line between love and hate. You don't need to, you really should not be getting mixed up with this love thing. For a, you know, that's love destroys relationships because once the love is gone, it's replaced by the other emotion. Like I said, there's a thin line between love and hate. And now, as a result of that, you end up with couples who don't, don't generally don't like each other once the love is gone. Really, for a functional relationship, you need like minds, like minds, and like goals. And as a result of that, and, and, and respect, and respect. You need a woman who's fit, feminine, friendly, and a woman that's on your schedule, that she wants to help you towards achieving your goals and, 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 and living a better life. She has to basically say, here's how I can make your life better. And here's the utility that I'm going, here's the value that I'm going to add to your life, that I'm going to create in your life. Because like I said, as men, we bring our value with us. We walk with our value. We are providers. We are protectors. So we have value just off the, right off the bat. When, whenever we go in, uh, and speak to a woman, you know, we, we already have our value because we've created that value. Women, on the other hand, they have to create value in the relationship. When they say something like, well, I make a million dollars a year, so I want a man who makes at least that, what they're, not, what they're leaving out is the fact that her money is her money and his money is her money. So he'll basically have to now subsidize her living and spend all of his money making her happy while she'll be blowing her money on whatever the heck she chooses to. So, it's, so he'll basically be giving her attention, time, money, and she's, and then on top of that, she's, you know, making her own money. So she's not even invested in the relationship. He's investing all of his time and his resources into the relationship. She's investing nothing into the relationship, but taking everything from the relationship. Forget about equality. Forget about equity. That's downright theft and evil. And she believes that her simple and very presence and beauty is what she brings to the relationship. How absolutely sick and sadistic is that, guys? How sick and sadistic is that? This is the reason why men are so tired of relationships with women in Western society. This is why they're walking away from relationships with women in Western society, because they've realized that the juice is just not worth the squeeze anymore. Guys, if you're enjoying these videos, please help get this channel to 100,000 subscribers by subscribing to the channel if you already haven't, liking the video, and turning on notifications to never miss another video ever again. Women are furious that they can't survive without men. I want to know what you guys think regarding this and everything else we discussed in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, men walking away. And cheers.